Okay. As you are going back to the cart, as you're circling around the outside. So, as you swing around, Kel, you're, you're drawn to something. It's almost like a magnet drawing you in. As soon as you spot it, you almost can't help yourself. Even though you know the pain that it's probably going to cause. As you make your way across the tent tops and the caravan wagons, you arrive above a small area that's been opened up to leave a pathway and give access to a glade that is next to the stream that runs beside Midway and Mib's caravan. And there, standing in the glade, surrounded by smiling children, young teens, and few adults with nostalgia in their eyes holding hands, is a figure dressed in a tree bark mask and a mantle of spring leaves. It's someone portraying the Prince of the Forest for Belmark, and they're handing out seeds to the children. Memory washes over you and sweeps you back in time as you recall staring out from behind a similar mask, surrounded by the children and members of the Sale Sioux, the ones who weren't undertaking the moral theffin. As for four years, you were the one for your tribe who was the prince of the forest, handing out seeds to your tribe and to your family. You watch as this figure, just as you did, takes the children over to the fertile soil in the glade and shows them how to plant the seeds, gently cover them up and drip some stream water over top of them. And then with just a touch of druid magic makes them sprout as all the children and adults watch in wonder. The children are entranced just as you remember the children of your tribe used to be. You're frozen. As the weight and the moment of that memory on this day begins to bear down on you. Yeah. I just sit and watch. And you watch for probably hours as the day goes on, watching just immersed in your memories of home. And we're going to leave you there in squirrel form looking down upon the glade and move over to Iska. Iska. Boy, that was a terrible transition of music. I should have faded that in a little. <laughs>